Hiya, welcome to Tallulah Lagash. I'm out on a lockdown wild vlog walk. It is around about 6 p.m. and we are on day four of the UK lockdown, which makes it the 27th of March 2020. I have started uploading content onto my channel and this video is going to discuss a really weird incident. You could say that it's a phenomenon that I have previously mentioned in a couple of videos. Now unfortunately I cannot remember if I told you the basis of this weird occurrence or whether I just kind of left it as a cliffhanger um, and said I would tell you this story at a later date. So if you have watched my previous videos and it would have been one of the Love on Lockdown updates from either January or March and you have heard the start of this story then I apologise for the repetition. However, last night I had a dream which really prompted me to need to actually tell the story, get it documented in a wild vlog video. So before I get into that, just to explain, I have had a couple of months where I haven't been recording dreams, even remembering dreams, haven't been concentrating on my dream work whatsoever. And it took a while for me to complete the uploads for my dream incubation experiment, a Star Wars adventure version two. So I do apologize for the continued behavior. I am such a repeat offender when it comes to taking breaks from my social media content creation. Due to the fact that we are now in a period of lockdown, self-isolation, social distancing, quarantining, obviously I have a lot of time on my hands. And I wanted to deal with all of the backlog of uploads that I had and then get into making some new content so I'm thinking about doing another dream experiment and I will deal with that in a separate video. So let's get into this phenomena. It relates to my boyfriend AJ. Now watch the Love on Lockdown series to get the background and current situation regarding my relationship. AJ is in prison serving an indeterminate sentence and he has currently done 16 years and he's waiting for his parole hearing which is unfortunately going to be delayed because of the current climate. So when we talk on the phone which is every single day we often talk about things that we've watched that we've listened to that we've read and also things that we generally like because we haven't lived together. We only see each other on prison visits. Um, check out my prison visit makeup look uploaded onto this channel a couple of days ago. I'll put something on the screen for you to click through to. But essentially, because of the nature of our relationship, we have to learn quite a lot about each other during daily conversations because we don't just pick up on those things. See, if I was living with AJ or spending a lot of time with him out in the free world, I'd know what he liked and disliked by observing him engaging with things, which songs he liked to listen to, which songs he sung along to, which songs he chose to play on YouTube. Same with TV, same with movies, same with any kind of media. Now, when we talk about what we like, 
there is a massive chasm, chasm um, and discrepancy in our tastes. Now, I don't know if I can give you an outline of my tastes succinctly. I'll try my best. Obviously, I like Star Wars. AJ and I discuss Star Wars a lot. He only watched it because of me, and I guess he likes it ironically. Um, he loves to hate it, I guess. Now, I would say that I like dark, weird, obscure twisted, satirical, parody, um, shock value type material. I love Chris Morris. I love Julia Davis. I like um, Charlie Brooker, who makes Black Mirror, or who was the original creator of Black Mirror. I like... Um, Peter Serafinovich, I can never say his name, he was the voice of Darth Maul in um, episode one of Star Wars, A Phantom Menace. The Phantom Menace. Um, I like horror, but not all horror. I like true crime. I quite like... Um, international foreign world cinema subtitle films are just as appealing to me as non-subtitle films um, anything that is on the more dark side of things would appeal to me I also like fine art and when I say fine art I don't mean that in a snobby way I like contemporary art. I also like street art as well. Music wise, I like hip hop. I like um, screamo. I like um, grunge from the 90s. I like a lot of um, very soft kind of listening music like Rod Stewart, Phil Collins. I like stuff like The Smiths, The Cure. Uh, wow, I could go on forever. My favourite ever band is Nirvana. My icons are people like, well, Julia Davis, Courtney Love, Carrie Fisher, Marilyn Monroe, um, Amy Winehouse. I've named only women here. I think that must say something. Um, but yeah, genuinely, I am also deeply into internet culture. So the culture of the internet, not just things that are on the internet, but the culture of the internet itself. So I'm always watching things about internet mysteries and anomalies, the weird stuff that happens on the internet, which kind of exists within the internet itself and only really reaches the mainstream if it is um, you know, controversial or unusual enough to um, break through. I like basically deep diving on Wikipedia and learning about random things. Nothing that I'm into is really so different from many, many other people. But AJ has really, really basic taste. Now, whereas I like some basic things, one of the issues that I have is that I would prefer to watch reviews of basic things than actually watch the basic thing itself. So I like watching reviews of really bad movies. That's one of my absolute favourite things to do. And I would say that those reviews are just as enjoyable, if not more, than um, actually sitting down and... Um, watching the original source material. So I also do that with TV shows as well. I like watching commentary and reviews of TV shows. AJ watches a lot of very mainstream TV shows. So he watches EastEnders, which would actually be my choice of 
TV soap if I was going to watch one, although I don't own a TV, so I don't watch any soaps. Um, he loves things like Naked Attraction, Love Island. He watches This Morning. He watches Celebrity Juice. He watches Nine Out of Ten Cats. He watches animal programs, wildlife programs. Um, and I think, yeah, he would watch true crime as well, probably, you know, he's a criminal after all, so it's like in his uh, field of expertise. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Sorry, AJ. Future AJ. Future AJ hopefully watching my YouTube videos because you love me. Um, but we laugh about it and he's always trying to get me to watch stuff that he's into. So he'll recommend movies for me, which literally would get one and a half stars on IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes. He loves the most basic, horrible movies that you can imagine. I know that his favourite movie, which I haven't actually watched, but can't imagine I'd enjoy, is Kickboxer with Sylvester Stallone. Unfortunately, can't send that in as a DVD because it's actually an 18, randomly, and you're not allowed to send 18 movies into prison. Um, my favourite movie is A Clockwork Orange as a comparator. I'm not having a go at him. I love him to bits. But the other day, you know, he phoned me up in a right panic saying, watch live TV on the internet because there's a website I go to where I can watch TV live as it's being broadcast um, on whatever channel. Um, and what he wanted me to watch, it turned out, was a documentary about either weasels or ferrets, can't remember which. And it was about a man that like basically adopted them. And I was thinking to myself, AJ, why would you think I would watch this? <sighs> no way. And so whenever he tells me I should watch something or get into it with him, I tell him that there's no way I'm going to like it if he rates it really highly. I would say that the difference is, although I take the mick out of him for listening to Smooth FM and also Magic FM, which are like old people boomer channels, um, a lot of the artists on there are actually artists that I love and a lot of the songs that play on there have this nostalgic um, appeal to me. So they might not be songs that I would ultimately think about or go and listen to, but if I heard them on the radio, I genuinely think that I would enjoy that. Um, so I am being a little bit harsh on him, but I always say, if you like something, just assume that I'm going to hate it. Getting to the phenomena here then. So I was sitting there and he was telling me that I should watch some kind of movie or TV show. And I said that to him. Um, if you like it, let's assume I'm going to absolutely hate it. You've got basic taste. You like the most populist kind of generic, cliched stuff. And he said to me, well, what is it that you would watch? And I said to him that I would watch um, world cinema or international foreign film subtitled art house and I said but you wouldn't have watched any of that would you and he went no ha 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 and then in my brain I thought to myself I wish he could watch dog tooth and then out of his mouth he says well I watched a film called dog tooth once and it wasn't just that he'd read my mind and I'd thought dog tooth and then he just randomly said it it was the fact that he'd actually sat and watched it because I can't imagine it on mainstream TV or, well, he wouldn't be able to access it on DVD, I imagine. So it must have come on TV. The fact that he would have even watched moments of it and decided to continue to watch that movie despite the subtitles and the fact that there's large chunks of that movie where nothing um, eye-catching or with the potential to reel you in would happen, um, it just blew my mind. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that story because it was like our little psychic connection, even though both of us are cynics, sceptics, don't believe in that kind of stuff. Last night, I had a dream, and it's in my blog, Viva Lagash, link to the description box below. I'm going to have to go because my battery's running out. But last night, I had a dream, and me and him were standing on a promenade, a 
appear and I'd heard the promenade mentioned earlier as a word somewhere else I can't remember where I'd heard it it was something in relation to this current global pandemic talking about promenades promenades and we were looking out to sea and he said something about I wish you'd shut up about dog tooth and I thought wow I've got to tell you the guys this story time because the fact now that I've even had a dream after like weeks and weeks and weeks of not recalling dreams and it's about dog tooth after I've said I want to tell you that story well that was what compelled me please hit the notification bell um, if you haven't and make sure you are subscribed in the first place give me a thumbs up drop me a comment ask me a question share my content see you on the next video bye